This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view in 3, A2, A1. Welcome to the roast of Nina Bonina. Wait, how many names does this bitch need? Brown. I'm your MC and RuPaul's secretary, Michelle Visage. On tonight's panel are a bunch of skanks who twist my knockers into a pretzel. Let's get this roast a cooking. Thank you for that introduction. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. I am so honored to have the privilege to be roasting a very close friend of mine. In the famous words of RuPaul at DragCon, there goes, um, uh, what was her name again? Um, oh, Nina Bonina Brown. You all may know her as transphobic, fatphobic, <laughs> depressed, problematic, and all those, most of those things are true. I do see that we have, have a lot of pigs with us tonight. Is that Camilla De Lorenzo? <laughs> that famous drag queen from Queer Off? She's so talented. Says no one. <laughs> Is that Squishy? We all know him as Squishy or Diamond, but the CDC knows him as Patient Zero. Oh, I didn't even know Detox was here. Wait. Is that Detox? <laughs> oh, this is Dizzle. Hi, Dizzle. And then I also wanted to come and match with my friend Brandon. I think this is all I need. <laughs> now back to the man of the hour, Nina Bonina Brown. It's so hard not to take some of her sayings and use it in our everyday lives. For example, the girls are girling. It's late. Tipping is not a country in China. <laughs> She's acting. I just wish she would use some of our sayings. Like, Nina, the audio is way too loud in the beauty and look segment. Nina, the raw view is eight days old. It's eight days late. Just to name a few. One thing a lot of people don't understand is how caring Nina Bonina Brown is. She's so caring that she lets us use her HBO account, her Hulu account, her Peacock account, her Wow Plus account, <laughs> pretty much all of your streaming services. And when I say she lets us use it, it's pretty much we do all the paying for it and she just logged in. <laughs> a lot of people always are wondering. One thing we cannot take away from this Nina Bonina Brown is that she's a trendsetter, She's a hell of an artist, and she's super talented. Thank you for that lovely introduction, Sherman Clump. Everyone give it up for the Nutty Professor. <laughs> ah, it's so great to speak on the behalf of Nina Bonita Brown, even though it was last minute and she threatened me. <laughs> but before I begin, we gotta get through the appetizers before we get to the main course. <laughs> now, before I begin, everyone, I just wanna let you know, I apologize for the jokes that you heard before me that were so bad, and the terrible ones after me that you're gonna hear. It's <laughs> true. Anyway, let's talk about Ray. Ray, you are an amazing person. So sweet and caring and compassionate. Always going out of his way for his family and his friends. <sighs> always listening when you need an ear. And always running to you when you need help. Especially if you have a hot plate of ribs with barbecue sauce. <laughs> then there's Akash. 
What's up? <laughs> Akash is a hardworking man. He's always doing voiceovers with his masculine, lovely voice. But when he's not working, he's outside an NFL team's locker room, waiting to smell their sweet, sweet athlete's foot. <coughs> have squishy. Nina's tethered out of drag and can't stop wearing overalls and voguing for some reason at the age of 90. <laughs> then, there's Camilla DiLorenzo, our favorite drag queen from the Queer Off season five. Go look, it's on Instagram. You can see her being eliminated first. <laughs> you can't get it right, especially with them tired ass wigs. Please throw away that pink one. We're tired of seeing it. So if you all. Now, to the man bra of the, I mean, lovely woman of the hour, Nina. Nina is an amazing performer. And you always know when she's near, especially with that damn car of hers. No, seriously, you, you know when she's near because you hear the car outside going <laughs> beatboxing. <laughs> When her hubcap's not falling off, she can be a real good time gal. We love you so much, Nina. And even though you pay us literally nothing, dead serious, she pays us nothing. I mean, she's paying me nothing for this now. Someone please, if you know a lawyer, uh, sorry. What I mean to say is, even though you pay us dunst, that you use to create your foundation for your looks every week for Raw View. We appreciate the hard work that you do, and I love you so much. Thank you for listening. And anybody else who talks after me is hot garbage. I'm Brandon, and this is me. So Osama bin Laden. You guys will never see Dizzle after this again. Blocked. Brown. Hey, girl. How you doing? Hey, girl. <laughs> no, just kidding. Just kidding. JK, girl. JK. What's hey? But wait. What? What's this? You know why'd you leave your drag up here? <clears throat> what? <laughs> oh, it's the nail. Whoops. No, no, but seriously, seriously, before us stands a queen, an icon, a legend, and so humble, so down to earth, the most nicest person that you ever meet, so, so humble. Like every time she plays her gold-plated PS5 and reminds us that PS4s are for losers, so humble, so humble, and so pure. <sighs> No queen, ice princess. That's right. Yeah, she be eating the big tarvy like it's bowls of cereal, y'all. <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> Nina, I am so so glad that over the years I've gotten to know you and I've got to meet you, and um, you truly are a great person and very very dear to me. And I love you, girl. Um, Let's all show Nina some love and hit that like and subscribe button. And remember y'all, Tippy is not a country and I should have been black China. Good night, everybody. Take care. My grandmother always told me don't breed a white woman to their face. But I'm just going to say you're a horrible person. <clears throat> anyway, y'all, whatever y'all want to be called this week, I know what y'all thinking. I did not know Mr. T had a gay, cracked up son that's secretly on the spectrum. But this means for you. 
otherwise known as Hotness in J on X2. Everyone said that Ray and Misha would be so good at this, but everyone knows fat people prefer barbecues. But let's stop with the fat jokes because, come on, they already have a lot on their plates. <laughs> but to the woman of the hour, did you know that Nina was in the Guinness Book of World Records? That is true, guys. You gotta look it up. Gotta look it up, you know? Got homework to do tonight. So tell us a joke. First thing is for blocking blessings. You know mama don't be doing the things that she should be doing all the time. But she's in the Guinness Book of World Records for that. For blocking her blossoms. Don't be blocking blessings. <clears throat> Can I get an amen? Uh, but Nina is a lovely person. You know, I love her to death. The first time I seen her, I saw so much of me in her. Then I wanted her in me. Ew, Michelle. And now we're here. Now off to the nearest bomb shelter, guys. Bring in a call. <laughs> Canceled. Thank you, Squishy. Squishy has had more ugly people in him than DragCon. <laughs> Hi, Brandon. I love what you've done with your hair. How it just never fails to come out of your nostrils. I'm not gonna lie, I'm afraid to say hi to Dizzle. Uh, legend has it that when she was born, she walked out of the hospital and deleted her Instagram page. <laughs> I know the 10 people who get that joke will laugh. <laughs> Ronaldo, Ray flew in all the way from New York to be here. You know he was crying to me about his weight gain saying, they made me buy two tickets for the airplane. And I said, yeah, but you got two meals. And he perked right up. <laughs> and now, on to the queen herself, Nina Bonina Osama Bin Laden Brown. I always wondered why Osama gets a credit in your name, until I realized that you do have a lot in common. You're both tall, you're both people of color, and just like your drag career, dead. Oh no, he didn't. Miss Patience? No, I'm just teasing. Nina calls her fans piggies because these days it's politically incorrect to use the term slow. Speaking of slow, hi Cam. You know when Cam met Pierre, he came up to him and said, I want to learn from the best. I'm an up and coming drag queen. Do you have any tips for me? And Nina gave him the same advice that Nina gave Osama Bin Laden. Hang in there. Nina's obsessed with the movie Child's Play. Uh, Child's Play stars Chucky, a doll that's possessed by a red-haired, freckled-faced, goofy-looking demon of a bitch serial killer. Oh, hi, Claire. <laughs> all right, that's all my time. Nina, I thank you so much for letting me be here. You know I love you. And we have to get to our next roaster, which is Cam. Cam swears that he's going to be serving all the beauty over here. It's just kind of funny that all that beauty can be removed with one Kleenex. Welcome, Cam. Thank you, Akash, for that intro. Akash, if you do not stop shedding on this floor. <laughs> Anyways, hi everybody. I'm Cam, or Alex, and I'm going to be here for the... What event is this? The Nina Rose. I guess so. So before we get started, I want to give a big thanks to... What's happening? Why is the earth shaking? I'm acting! Ray, sit your ass down. There will be ribs after this function. <laughs> Shit. So continuing on, today we are here to celebrate... Who the hell threw that? 
<laughs> Condoms? I know these aren't squishy because squishy doesn't even use these. Mama joined. Like mama joined. So finally we are now to the man of the hour, Nina Bonina Brown. There's so many things about Nina that I can roast about, but instead I'm going to show y'all what I have. She doesn't know it, but I hit cameras all throughout her house to catch her doing the most stupidest shit that one person can do. I honestly worry for her. Let's take a look. Put him up. Put him up. In my someone who needs no introduction at all. Yeah. Is that Jasmine, Jasmine Masters? Now, it's Meryl Street, bitch. Hey, Jushes. It's me, the one and only. Who let her in? Who? Jasmine the Master. Oh damn, honey, y'all acting like y'all see a celebrity. I know I am a celebrity, honey. Well damn, you looking like you seen a ghost. The ghost of your drag career. <laughs> that far. Anyway, Jush, I'm back again to try to do a roast, Jushes. Cause you know my last run around on All Stars, I didn't really want to be there, Jushes. I just went to the supermarket to get some bread, Jush. And then RuPaul called me and said, What you doing, Jasmine? I said, Getting some bread. <laughs> she said, Why, Jasmine? Because I'm hungry, bitch. Dapa. But I'm just here again to try to tell this joke. Because I know it's funny. Looking at me like you want to eat me. So here you go. The other day, Jushes, I went down to church's chicken, Jushes. That's how I got my new lip gloss, Jushes. <laughs> I was talking to the cashier. I'm about to give me a number two, Jushes. With a biscuit and a little bit of okra. And the cashier said, that'll be $5.99. I said, what? He said, five ninety nine. I said, come closer, Jush. <laughs> I said, said oh, your breath smell like shit. Well, tell us a joke. Damn, I done bombed again, Jushes. <laughs> I'm high as hell, Jush. Anyway, that's been my set. I'll talk to y'all later, Jush. I am so honored to be respected by these people. I would like to thank all of them for taking the time out of their day to come and celebrate me. You know the saying, you get what you pay for. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, Ronaldo Ferraldo Isabella on possibly becoming a nurse. But remember what we talked about? We take care of the patients. We don't eat them. <laughs> <laughs> I love ya. And moving on, oh, I'm just so glad because this person never likes to show his face. And from what y'all seen, you know why. 
<laughs> Brandon, or as I call him, Blasian, or shall I say, he calls himself Blasian. You know the black guys that think because they're light skinned, they have a little slanted eye that they're Blasian, and they put it on their grinder profiles. Brandon, I'm here to tell you, just because you're black, light skin, and suck on Asian penis, doesn't make you Blasian. Okay? It makes you a whore. Did you get that? No? Quick, mass are coming. Mass are coming. Squishy, I figured since he looks that way, he has to be a runaway slave. Hey, Squishy, how are you? I don't even have a read for you. This is all I can say for you. Just look at this. <laughs> Two words, monkeypox, bitch. And thank you so much for Abu's from Aladdin's play cousin coming all the way from the desert. Akash, or as I call him, Akush. You know, he said that he used to be overweight. Maybe used to be means a different thing in Pakistan. Because where's the used to be part? You know there's a man likes feet. And you know, I'm not here to kink shame. But I think the reason why he likes feet so much is because it's the only part that men want him to touch. Whenever he tries to go up, go down, go down, go down, go down, down, down. Don't look at me. So he's forced to look at feet all day. It's so sad. And finally, Cam. Has anybody seen him? Cam? Cam? Well, just like his short stint of a time at the Queer Off in Texas, he's gone. And he's the first Mexican I know to be over five feet tall. So congratulations on that. The Lord knows, it'll be the only congratulation you get. It won't be from winning a drag competition. Speaking of drag race, somebody whose chin drags across the floor all the time. Thank you, Jazz and Masters, for showing up. Because Lord knows you always never show up when I come to L.A. I come to L.A., she books it. I go to Mickey's, she books it. What are you so scared of, girl? You're beautiful. Is my nose growing? No, just her chin. But anyway, that has been my time. I just want to thank all of you out there for watching and loving me and all my piggies. You know, I don't call you pigs because petty is great. I call you pigs because you guys all stink. But I love you. Lord knows somebody has to. So anyway, I am signing out. Your girl, Nina, Bonina, Banana, Fafana, Osama, Bin Laden Brown. Have a good night, guys. Hey guys, it's me, Nina Bonina, Banana Fafana, Osama Bin Laden. It's early, y'all. Hey, y'all thought that it was late. All oh, you were hoping that it was late, but it can't be late because I don't instigate. Even if I try to masturbate, I might go to the gate. And I don't want to go to the gate because I don't have a car to push the button. Push the button like the button go down to Dana Hutton. Okay, well, so technically it is, okay, it's late. But it's like also early because like some people get up this time to go to work. Um, it's late. But hey, Peggy's, welcome back to my channel, Peggy's. Oink oink, toot it up. Oink oink, booty cup. Oink oink, nanny cup. Where the hell does energy coming from? Oink oink, tan club. Um, excuse the mess. But yeah, so welcome back, piggies. Y'all know this is how we do over here. A place to come and keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot. Meaning, come here, share your opinions. We're going to speak about all kind of things, okay? We may even come for some of your favorites. But in a respectful way, okay? We may, we may not like what they're wearing, and we're going to talk about it, or what they're doing. And that's okay. Agree to disagree. If you can't handle that, value other people's opinions, you'll be blocked, chopped immediately. This look... I was envisioning like a, oh, because my pants are showing. I was envisioning like a, a mod kind of look. So I wanted to do that and I think I pulled it off. It's cute. 
Uh, it's been a long night. Doing that roast girl was a mess. The edit is a mess. I, girl, I can't. But you get what you pay for, right? And I don't pay them, so. Uh, what can you say? Yeah, the reason why I think I have this energy for real, for real, bitch, because, like, I didn't even want to tell y'all this because, like, I don't want to, like, put it in the atmosphere or claim it, but I think I may be suffering from a slight hearing loss in my left ear, which makes me sad to talk about it because it's, like, something that, why, when, where, how, you know? But I just woke up one day, and I'm like, what's going on with my ear? Like, um, and... It was just, it just feels like, you know, like when you, something feels clogged a little bit, like something I'm like, what is it like earwax or something like that? And I bought one of those earwax cleaning things and put and nothing came out. And I, I ain't gonna lie, I barely clean my ears. Like both of y'all, do y'all clean your ears all the time? I may clean my ears like once a month or that, if that, I'm being honest, but it was not, it's not dirty or anything. So yeah, I just feel like like you want your ear to pop, but it won't pop as if something is just, it's just like right here. And I do have a lot of like allergy issues as far as like with pollen, that's gone now, but even with like the ceiling fan and how I sleep, sinuses and all that, and all this stuff is connected, you know? And I do listen to loud music every now and then, but I've been doing that for years, you know? And I'm like, is it just now catching up or is it something to do more so with like the sinus issue? So I went to um, urgent care Okay, because when you don't have insurance, you go to urgent care. And um, I spoke with somebody there. She seemed to know a little bit what she's talking about. And we did a hearing test. Like, like where you go in this, like, little booth that looks like a torture chamber. And you're just, like, have the headphones on. And you got to, like, push the button for these little beeps or whatever. I, I almost wonder, did they start it? And I didn't know. But anyway, so basically, I did the test. Um, she saw that, yeah, like, the left ear, like, I kind of, like, failed it a little bit. Not all the way, but I failed it some. And she's like, yeah, I think you have, like, mild hearing loss, and it could be from whatever that tube is called, the eustachian tube, whatever it's called, or, like, a nerve. Either way, she gave me some, um, prednisone steroids. I'm like, are they gonna give me muscles? Like, am I gonna have muscles? Are you serious? Like, she's like, no. She's like, it, it might give you energy, and I need energy. And I feel like that's why I have energy now. And I heard that some people take prednisone and experience depression and all kind of like suicidal thoughts. I guess people that take it for a while. I'm taking it for 10 days. So if it is something mild, the steroids should get rid of it. Hopefully. So y'all pray for that. Okay. But um, yeah. Let's go ahead and like, you know, do the normal, the comments, the tips, etc. And go from there. Let's go ahead and read some tips because we know what tipping is not a what a country in china so thank you all for your tips thank you phil will thank you so much for that tip love thank you ryan kinslow for the tip thank you yolanda jernigan for the tip love thank you tayas for the birthday gift tip yes I didn't really put it out there loudly, but like it was my birthday. And y'all would have known because Drag Race used to post my birthdays. So that lets y'all know they want nothing to do with me. So stop asking about all stars. <laughs> but um yeah, if y'all would like to still give some birthday tips, please do. <laughs> Even though I'm not happy about the real age I turned. So just just know that I'm like 25 years old okay let's, let's, let's leave it at that thank you your excellency I appreciate you thank you Constance Jones appreciate it thank you Wesley working thank you Dr. Dictari. Dictari. thank you so much for that big tip I appreciate you oh and you appreciate my acting thank you thank you Jacob Dunn thank you love Thank you, Angel Overa. Thank you, Marcus Wilson. Thank you, Christopher Duran. Thank you, Claire. Oh, I just seen this. I didn't know you sent this. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I just I I, I, I just seen it. Thank you, Robert, as always. Thank you, Andre Bennett, for the big tip. Thank you so much. Thank you, Marielle Cartagena. 
Thank you, Carlos Alva. Thank you, Jared Pollock. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jared, Jared Woodward. 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 Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Matthew Ray. Thank you back uh, for sliding back in your DMs. Well, if you weren't handsome, you wouldn't have got a message. Hmm. Thank you, Fred Mark. Thank you, Jules Mayer. Thank you, Stephen Hardwick Love. Thank you, Alex Kimmel. Thank you, Michael Minter Donut Man. Oh, he black person that she tipped me. You must have made a lot of donuts, bitch. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica Lesh. Thank you all for your wonderful tips. Some of these were from the gaming. Thank y'all. Like my little gaming videos have been like gaining some more people showing up. So I appreciate that. Y'all sh- y'all see y'all see I'm fun. We're having fun. Okay. We do fun things. Thank y'all so much. And once again, if you like the tip, all the information will be in the description box down below. Nina, I love your channel and watch all your ads. This episode has me thinking about how it seems like this popular queens on season nine that were expected, they put quote unquote popular queens, were expected to seem to always come back and do worse the second time around. Valentina and Shay were all super popular on season nine and came back and had some good moments, but never lived up to the track records they set for themselves on season nine. Did Valentina have a track record though? Um, and I'm not reading, I'm being, I'm, I'm just asking. Now with Shay in the worst position out of all the winners, I'm feeling like season nine editing may have been deceptive. Do you feel like there was something in the edit or some curse on these queens? I don't think about it. <laughs> I mean, am, do I think Shay got a little favoritism on our season? And in general, yeah. But did she do good on my season? Yeah. You know, but... That's the thing. Y'all can't keep thinking that these people are, like, super hum- human. Like, they're... They're queens. They're just like anybody else. They just happen to get more opportunities. That's it. To the comment about queens doing different challenges in the earlier seasons, they used to even go outside and interact with people on the streets. The wet t-shirt contest, the stripper pole. I wonder if something happened that made the show not want to let the queens go outside anymore. I don't know. It could have been a safety precaution or... But it was fun when they did go outside and do things like that. It was fun. Hey, this is random. <laughs> just while I'm just going through my... Trying to find my comments. I have a friend in the UK named Nicole. I think she's a really... She's a very odd person, but she's very, like, artistic. She's an actress. I think she's really good at it. But anyway, she's always sending me random stuff that I don't ask for. <laughs> I didn't know that y'all had Wendy's in the UK, but not the Wendy's that, you know how the Wendy's normally has like two pigtails? Girl, this Wendy has a goddamn Rihanna, Mary J. Blige, one cut to the side, flip. Let me find out the UK got some pizzazz. So when we were asking about, asked that anybody ever tried Shay's beer, Somebody said, so I've tried Shea Kool-Aid Al, and no disrespect to Shea, I'm a, I'm a fan. It was the worst Al's I've ever had. It's like someone who had to knowledge, no knowledge on Al taste and creation made in it. It's so bad that I know most places have discounted, dis- discontinued selling it. I was surprised she mentioned it here as I thought it had been fully discontinued. I know most gay bars stopped selling it, and the only corner store I know that sold it stopped because of low sales. Did anybody else try it that liked it? I, mean, I don't know. I don't drink. You know what? I'm, well, you know what I want RuPaul to start participating in themes of the runways. That's what they need to start doing. Every blue moon she will, but I almost wonder: Does she not want to do it because she doesn't want the contestants to outdo her in a look like that? I don't know. She should though. Sometimes I think she should. Let's not forget: Season nine was the last season before queens were expected to do reveals in order to win lip syncs instead of actually lip sync. Well. Somebody was responding to what Macy Gray said about, you know, being trans and just because you change your body parts, you're not a woman. But this is, I'm a transgender woman who has medically and legally transitioned. Macy Gray is entitled to her opinion as I entitled to mine. No changing body parts does not make me a woman. No, I was not born as a biological female or as a baby girl. But yes, it's true. I was born with the feeling of never truly feeling at home in my body as old as I can remember. I'll never claim to be a biological female but I will always claim to be a woman. Your spirit, your brain, your essence is who you truly are, not our bodies. We are just bags of soil here for a short time. Well, that's, but you know, but I love what you said. Cause like, you know what you are, you know what you feel and you know where you came from, you know? So I think a lot of people will respect that. 
Oh, this is about, you know, me saying it. I don't, I don't want to get older. Somebody said, I don't know why there is such an illusionary obsession with youth. It's like our shortest stage in life, and we are pretty much old most of our eyes. No shade, Nina, but you are such a young person at heart, and if you start thinking old, your body will catch up to the mind. Happy X amount of times around our son, Nina, and you look great in and out of drag. I was going to block them, but it would be a nice. I was going to block them because it made sense. I guess we do spend most of our lives at an older age. Do we, though? Because like, I feel like it's half and half, but maybe we are older longer than we are younger. Either way, I'm still sad about it. Pit Stop is so biased. Sometimes I force myself to watch it because they bring some different girls. Mostly the same girls, but do in review. But they're so foolish, most because of wow. And not giving sincere opinions and trying to tell the same jokes and memes. I try, but there's no review like the Raw View. Because I like it raw. Sue me. Yep, this episode was okay, but I'm still bored. Bored with the faux drama around the plunger, which is used to unblock rather than block, surely. Bored with Evie's laughs, silly laughs. Bored with Ruth and the judges acting like the queens are serving every week, even when they're not. And I could be wrong, but I feel like the queens are bored too. Is it just me or does this whole season feel like a job for the boys? Rude drafting and everyone already on the payroll to milk the machine even more. With the promise that they won't be allowed to fall on their faces. I mean, it is a risk going back as a legend, quote unquote, but so much is at stake. I'd hate to see a queen's reputation ruined, but this makes for very lackluster viewing. It feels very ouch like the whole thing has been mapped out in advance including who wins each week, regardless of how they perform. But it's okay, Rue and company are on hand to tell us repeatedly how amazing the Chosen Queen is so that we accept their win, even when it's undeserved. I mean, if the critiques were honest, they would risk upsetting or, via or isolating a given fandom who would want that. Plus, the so-called legends they have created w would risk a fall from grace, showing just how fragile the whole thing is. Well, one thing I like, um, I saw that Trinity to confirm that they did edit out negative critiques for whatever reason, but they did net edit it out. But yeah, that's the thing. Like that's with any show, any show can make anybody look good if they want to. Like we already knew this, but it's like it, and I'm not saying these people aren't legends, but at, 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 some of these people aren't legends. Like I don't like you have to really earn your status of a legend. You have to been around for a long time, done some legend things like RuPaul's a legend, you know, of Asia, you know, something like those are legends, you know, people that have like been around for a long time and really made an impact. And I, th and I, I do feel like people do use the word legend and iconic so loosely on anybody and they can make anybody look like a legend on how you edit and how you do things. And when you keep putting people in somebody's putting the same people in people's face you're going to thank their legends because it's all you see but it doesn't mean that somebody who you barely don't see on tv couldn't be a legend themselves if given the same opportunities that's just how it is let's have a weird 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 moment with nina Benina brown would you wear it would you wear glitter studded gum I don't get it cause like maybe if the teeth were but your gums like unless you have like one of those like mouths where like we see gum first and then teeth later I know a few people I won't say their names though but <laughs> then it makes sense but still why another weird moment remember Orlando the actor from That's So Raven Remember Bow Wow? Watch this. What's the weather today, y'all? When little Bow Wow was on there. You got a problem with little Bow Wow? I ain't got a problem with little Bow Wow. Little Bow Wow got some bomb ass pussy. Now I know Orlando has been going through some crazy stuff. But I wouldn't put it past him if he was eating Bow Wow's booty like groceries. Because we all know Hollywood is Holly weird and some things go down. And that has been weird moments with Nina, Bonina Brown. I don't have any video game moments besides like I'm still playing or waiting to play that. Y'all talking about that game called Madison. Um, and it's not working properly for a lot of people. 
Xbox or PlayStation, because but it's doing fine on PC because a PC game normally. But um, yeah, it's not working. Like I made it to 91%. I can't beat the whole game because it keeps starting from the beginning. They're supposed to be ma making a patch for it. So if any of y'all were interested in getting that game, wait until they patch it. Don't waste your money right now. I meant to say I'm watching the Resident Evil Netflix show that's out now. Um, and let me tell you something about the Resident Evil fans. They're crazy. Like they are so picky and they hate everything. Like. I, and look, I get it. You don't like certain things to be touched, and they have done some not so good adaptations of these games. But, like, I will say the show is something completely different from the game in a way. Like, they may do some flashbacks. Like, they did one flashback with, um, is her name Lisa? One of the first test subjects on Resident Evil with the different mask face and eye on her back, whatever, they showed that. That was pretty cool. It was like, okay, flashback, homage. Um, but besides that, the show really could be called something else besides Resident Evil, you know? Like, and they're doing the thing, and now the woke thing, you know, like changing the characters around, their races, their, you know, their sex and everything. And like, you know, like Wesker, he's black now. You know, and all that's fine, but it's like, at the same time, it's kind of like, but why though? Like, just, and it's not even like a racist thing, I don't think, it's just like, just kind of keep the characters how people know them for, for the most part. Um, they even have like a lesbian couple and everything, you know, it's like, I get it, like they're trying to like, you know, be woke and this is what we do. But um, it definitely has some decent CGI. It's not really scary at all. Um, some of the stories a little like, what? But it's like completely different. Like it really is. Like it kind of just could be its own thing. But I would say watch it with an open eye and like a different mindset. Like don't go watching it thinking that you're gonna see Leon and Ada Wong and Claire and all that. Like you're not. It's just its own thing. This girl's the first ever spoken word lip sync. I wanted to do that so bad. Really? True. And can I picture Trinity doing that? I guess because she has that southern charm. I guess she could pull off pull that off. I guess so. I thought there was some sort of Illuminati. Like, <laughs> oh, don't act like y'all not a part of Illuminati on that show. <laughs> the Kennedy Davenport Center honors our I can't tell who she's looking at. JK! Comedian Solomon Giorgio. Oh. They're acting. Because who was that? I do whatever you want from <laughs> what was this on? This was They just did this kind of challenge. Child, one of them seasons was it Drag Race Australia, Drag Race Antarctica, Drag Race Chile? One of them they did this thing. Now I gotta watch these damn bottoms topping again. <laughs> and isn't the redhead guy supposed to be scraped? <laughs> and not the wearing leggings, so they, so they don't have to feel the person knowing them really. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't want to see this. So. Hey, sorry if my hands are cold. Oh, you're being so delicate. You know that Shay's favorite, honey. A white man, red hair. <laughs> Listen, I... <laughs> Just imagine a top walking to you like that saying, baby, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> That's where they got fish and chips from. I'm losing opportunities to still be in the running to be in the People were saying how they could see that Shay is kind of like, I guess watching her, they see that, they could tell that Shay's worried and bothered because she's not, cause you know, she's always expect, she's always expecting to be the top one, the, the one that, but it's not happening this time. I wasn't really noticing it, but I guess like watching this right now, her saying all this, I'm like, I guess she really is worried. In fact, her accent is so southern that it sounds like hot grits and pork chops. Is that funny? That would be funny, like around your like, country black family at a barbecue probably to solve viagra users with erections lasting longer than four hours <laughs> <laughs> i don't remember that and now i see why trinity jinx was so ugly she tried to photoshop a picture and the app said nice try bitch it's like one of those jokes you tell your friends but it's kind of funny 
This morning I rolled a big fatty. Um, that's how we get Jinx into the building. Now, are they gonna cancel her? Cause you know how people be, people be picking and choosing on certain queens who they want to cancel for being fat phobic, allegedly. Oh, hi, thanks RuPaul for coming. I know you haven't in a while. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've had way too much plastic surgery for that. Did you? Where? And you know it. It's time for beauty and looks, Jush. But where's the beauty? Ice cream gloss looking gorgeous. Bow wow, is that you? And that's been Beauty and Looks with Nina Bonina Brown. <laughs> okay, this look. It's kind of cute. I'm getting like. Um, what's her name? What the damn Flintstone wife name? Wilma Pebbles with a gown kind of going on. I'm going to rent this. Peppermint. One of the camera guys. Know oh, I'm like, who is that? <laughs> Damn, they, yeah, he really did like doing drag. Share these words of wisdom from Kennedy Davenport. But why couldn't Kennedy be there, though? I don't get it. Hunter honors Hall of Shame. Roger looks good. The makeup looks really good, though. But her hairline lives in Reseda. <laughs> but she's bald. I don't get it. People are betting on her at the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> okay, RuPaul, you don't never laugh that much. Like, come on now. <laughs> okay. Honestly, even Jinx has had some plastic surgery done. Give you time to look for it. <laughs> and damn, Jinx looking like um Willy Wonka bitch. <laughs> Paul is such a skinny little bitch that she wears earrings. She looks cute there. Like all these other girls calling you a slut. You're also dumb. Yeah, I know Shay was wanting to win this star this time, but... Mm, it's, it's like, it's okay. Evie Oddly has been objectified a lot this season, and I don't... Anyway, here's some dick jokes. <laughs> <clears throat> Jake's is funny and like, if I'm going to a white bar, I get it. But RuPaul, girl. Mama. Boyfriend down easy. She said, let's just be cousins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was funny. He actually likes to dress her up like a pinata before sex because he likes to be blindfolded before he hits it. Yeah, you can tell Jake's gave her these jokes. <laughs> Anyone ever tell you you're not pretty? You're not, but don't let them tell you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was funny. Her mother delivered at least one joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody gave her that joke. <laughs> but that's funny, though. Water was from Flint, Michigan. <laughs> girl. Okay, Rue. Like, girl. I could literally see me sitting beside RuPaul and like, Mama, shut up, girl. I can't hear the joke. <laughs> no, the ad jinx the show. That's when I discovered I was narcoleptic. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. And Moni looks cute, too. The essence of beauty and the teeth of a baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not Jada and her gums. The only thing sharper than Jinx's pearly thing, than Jinx's wig. Oh, it's over. At beast that she's must, must, ah, I... <laughs> Now, if they still give her positive critiques, we know it's over. Job, well, she like it to stay cut. <laughs> yeah, that was. <sighs> okay. So hard going after such a strong roast. <laughs> <laughs> Nene had her own talk show, well, on the internet, called The Exchange Rate, which is Latin for cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> the show was meant to be an exploration and reflection of Monet's talent and personality, and sadly, it was. <laughs> Jinx had a Zoom wedding, not because of the pandemic, just because her husband couldn't bear to be in the same room as her. <laughs> <laughs> well, the roast was cute. Or at least RuPaul's laughing had me thinking it was, I guess. I mean, what kind of dark lighting? I can't really see the outfit, but from what I've seen before the lights cut off, it's nice. I'm going to buy it. <laughs> This stuff is beautiful, but I would like to see the garments before the lights go off in the makeup. 
but from what I can see in the dark, I'm gonna buy it. Like this is pretty. Like this is like a, first of all, this this Romeo theme is sickening. And this is like giving me something you would see in a cave, some kind of lit up mushroom. Like it's just really beautiful, like a waterfall. It's it's gorgeous. Whoever whoever made made these costumes are sickening. Shea Coulee looks nice. I actually like her outfit better with the lights off. Like I love that sun kissed makeup she did. Like it's sunflower. Like it's kind of sad that she got to cover her face up with the the darkness. But I am gonna buy this. Would this be the first runway I buy everybody's outfits? But, but because it's dark now, so. Being persecuted for your religious belief. Which is Jinx's outfit is okay. I'll rent it. I'm not that excited about it. And I almost wonder where they inspired by um, Monique's runway when she came on stage with that like kind of pink flamingo thing on that lit up. Probably so. Because they'll be inspired by people but don't say nothing. This dress is such a turn -off. Just um, Trinity's look, I love the colors. But I'm not that excited, but I will rent it. Monet's look is so dark I can't see it. I don't know what I don't know what the judge. I mean, like I can't see it. I guess I'll rent it. I can't see it though. Yeah. Is this the blue wave? Okay, bitch. This makes up for her horrible. Um, bitch, this is sickening. A wave behind her, and she's a mermaid. The hair, girl, this is gorgeous. Like I want to see this in a Little Mermaid remake. This is sick. Girl, I don't even see. I don't even need to see the lights off. Like, bitch, I already buy it. <laughs> I'm gonna still look, but I'm like, girl, it's a sickening. But the brightest, most sickening. Yeah, see, I like it better with the lights on. Like, had she had something going on her face that lit up, or even more so on the chest and stuff, this would sell more. But it's like, it's once again, it's too dark in certain areas where it's like, eh. but seeing it without the lights is better. Honestly, I mean, with the lights, it's better. That's what I call it. <laughs> the lights have gone down. I am lit. This is cute. It is. It is cute. But I've seen the wings so much. But seeing them lit up is pretty. I will definitely rent this. I'll rent it. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably rent it twice. But, like, I don't want to buy it. I'm just like, oh, it's the newest wings. But it is giving me very much, like, rainbow bright, unicorn kind of tease. Uh, so, yeah, I will rent it. The winner of this week's lip sync will not, I repeat, will not have the power to block one of their fellow competitors. Because y'all want to make sure that everybody gets their fair amount of stars now. Mm -hmm. On stage now, I think I might even love it more. <laughs> See, exactly. It looks better with the lights on. With the lights off, but lights on. Look at this color. Look at it. See, Ross is with me. This, these outfits like this look better with the lights on. And it's so inspiring. Like, I would love somebody make this for me, but as Ariel, because I, I plan on doing another Ariel look. And I would love, I was going to draw a tail and try to glue it on my body. I still may. But, like, to have this made where, like, I could have them build a water, water like, wave behind me and her green tail. It would be so sickening, bitch. You struggled a little bit, but I want to give you credit. Because... Oh, please. She would not be doing that if it was, like, a real season. And it was, like, <laughs> come on now. Trinity and Jinx are the top two. I feel like it could have went a different couple of ways, honestly, for real. I really feel like they wanted to give Trinity a win to prove, like, see, you can be funny since she did so bad on both of her other seasons doing a roast. You know, and it's like, okay, I guess. Yeah, but who do y'all think could have been top two? Congratulations. You oh, you see the Vivian light, really? <laughs> I don't know this song, but Jake is already giving me a little more. I'm like, I'm like, okay, this must be her, be her stuff because she's already getting into it and jumping around. Okay, and Trinity's, get, Trinity's giving me serious right now. Because that damn silicone booty, bitch, I can't. It is not matching the thighs in the back. <laughs> yeah, secretly, I think Jinx will win this one. Surprisingly, but I think she's going to win it. Not Jinx pulling out cartwheels. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Trinity did, did say she has the same tire moves. <laughs> I feel like Trinity didn't really care for that song, to be honest. So I'm not surprised. Yeah, Jinx won. <laughs> well, that was it. Um, It was an okay episode. It wasn't too bad. I'm not, maybe because I'm not that tired right now. I should be. Um, but it wasn't that bad. I will say it's probably one of the best runways in a long time. For real. 
it was different you know um it was cool to look at good to see um some iffy judging are going on again and choices but whatever it's, it's okay what do you guys think did y'all enjoy the episode but as always thank you guys for coming around to another raw view and hanging out with me and tipping and supporting and all those good things if you can't tip like and subscribe to the video you know subscribe and um yeah so i'm about to go ahead and get out of this drag so i can go get ready for some sleep thank y'all for coming around and as always stay beat stay beautiful but most importantly Stay blessed. Kima Cho or let's get Kimochi. Bye. Tommy doesn't touch my dirty pillows at prom. Or at least that's what Mama calls them. They're all, they're all, they're all gonna laugh at you. I was also so white and confused at school today. I still don't know where the manager is. <laughs> all the girls laughed at me. They're all gonna laugh at you! Why? Harry White, get down here and praise God. Call me mama, and where's Boo Boo? Why? Why?